here with James Ferentino, and you have seen him as uh, Neil Darrow on The Lawyers. And uh, that's in the past, and what we're talking about now is the present and the future with cool million. Yeah. It's what kind of a switch. A, what kind of a series is it, Jim? It's a new 90-minute uh, show, uh, part of the uh, Wednesday Night Mystery movies, and uh, it's a revolving type of series. And basically, it uh, it deals with a character by the name of Jefferson F. Keys, who uh, is an international troubleshooter of sorts. Uh, he's able to command a million dollars uh, fee per problem. Uh, a million dollars? Yeah. Sounds crazy, but it's not really when you think <laughs> about it. You know, because uh, what with money the way it is today, what you have to earn, you know, uh, a million dollars is, is, is not too much for the type of work he does because he's taxed on it and he uh, guarantees uh, the problem being solved or it's all off his own uh, money, I mean, out of his own pocket because he pays his own expenses out of that million. If so he, doesn't, he can't solve the caper, he, he gets get nothing. He gets nothing and he's out whatever expenses that he, he ran up and he, they could come quite high because he does have a, a, a jet plane that takes him from country to country and uh, other things like a special built, specially built car that he has to have shipped around wherever he goes. Uh, and he's another reason he's able to command that is because he, he does deal on a super power level, super intelligence level, uh, in as much as he worked for the CIA in Central Intelligence and uh, he was stationed in Southeast Asia and he left that organization because of something that happened, which we'll, we'll uh, get into in one of the shows. And he becomes more or less anti-establishment. And although he gets a million dollar fee, he's totally... Uh, uh, or we're going to try to make them uh, uh, with no affectations in terms of dress, in terms of morality, in terms of uh, speech. You know. uh, he gets paid because he knows how to do his job and he does that well. Could you give us an example of the kind of problem that he has to try to solve? Well, uh, in, the, in the first, in the pilot, it was that uh, I had to track down a missing heiress of a very rich underworld figure because other underworld figures were claiming uh, the right to his will which would have kept this underworld regime going on so I had to find his missing daughter which everybody was saying was dead from, from a child and uh, I come in trying to locate her uh, where everybody else has failed and there are certain twists in the stories uh, that are quite exciting. But it's th that kind of a, a level that he works on. Is it the kind of series that will use name guest stars, Jim? Well, we're going to try to get as many as, uh, uh, as we can. Uh, we haven't started the first show yet, so it's hard to say. Uh, I think getting a name star today is, uh, is not too difficult, providing your show offers that star something to work with, some good material. So we th I'm pretty sure we will because we, we certainly have the good material. Jim, I wonder, since you're doing this program, the series Cool Million, have you ever just fantasized a little bit and wondered if you had a million dollars, what you might do with it? Oh yeah, many times, many times. What would you do with a million dollars? Probably nothing more than I'm doing now. Uh, it certainly wouldn't take me away from the thing that I love to do most, and which is, is acting. Uh, I might uh, invest that money to make sure I'm able to uh, uh, keep it or my children keep it uh, when I'm gone or whatever, but I don't think I would do anything more uh, than I'm doing now. I would try to set it up so I'd be able to work more often, you know, form my own production company or buy a studio or something like that, you know. but. Uh, Nothing extravagant, uh, like traveling, or because I do that anyway, you know, in the work that I do. Now, you all know, of course, that his wife is Michelle Lee. What do you think Michelle would do if she had a million dollars? <laughs> or would, would you hesitate to speak for her? No, uh, my wife would definitely put it in the bank 
or invested in some uh, something that would guarantee an income for life. But she's a very good lady that way. She knows how to uh, handle money. She knows the value of a dollar. and She knows how quickly it can go, much more than I do in this business. She knows that uh, we're in a totally insecure uh, field. And she's always thinking ahead in those terms, which is one of the reasons why we're married, I guess, because she's got a good, a he good head on her shoulders. Is there some one little thing, though, that, that you like to buy? For instance, now, I'm very much like Michelle, except that I'm an art collector, and I don't buy a lot, but sometimes I see something, Jim, and, and you can't if, afford it, yeah. if I can't afford it, I just, <clears throat> you know, it's a compulsion. I must have it. Yeah, I would do something like that, I think. Uh, uh, because uh, art is uh, uh, something that both Michelle and I appreciate uh, very deeply, but uh, art is uh, good art is, uh, for the most part, very expensive. I wouldn't go overboard on that. Uh, uh, you could get hooked on something. It becomes like a disease. You start buying something, you keep buying and buying and buying, and uh, really, outside of the personal satisfaction that you get from it, uh, it's not... I don't think it's too wise to get carried away on anything like that, you know. I would rather have the money diversified. Of course, we're dreaming now, you know. <laughs> no way that's ever going to happen. Well, I'm not dreaming when I say that I wish you the very best of success with Thank this you. new series, Jim. You're a fine actor, and it should be a hit. Thank you. Cool million. Be watching for it.